The Pains of Sleep by Samuel Taylor Coleridge Read for LibriVox.org by David Barnes Ere on my bed my limbs I lay, It hath not been my use to pray With moving lips or bended knees, But silently, by slow degrees, My spirit I to love compose, in humble trust mine eyelids close with reverential resignation no wish conceived no thought expressed only a sense of supplication a sense o'er all my soul impressed that i am weak yet not unblessed since in me round me everywhere eternal strength and wisdom are but yesternight I prayed aloud in anguish and in agony, Upstarting from the fiendish crowd of shapes and thoughts that tortured me, A lurid light, a trampling throng, sense of intolerable wrong, And whom I scorned, those only strong. Thirst of revenge, the powerless will still baffled and yet burning still, Desire with loathing strangely mixed, On wild or hateful objects fixed, Fantastic passions, maddening brawl, And shame and terror over all, Deeds to be hid, which were not hid, Which, all confused, I could not know Whether I suffered or I did, For all seemed guilt, remorse, or woe, my own or others still the same, Life-stifling fear, soul-stifling shame. So two nights passed, the night's dismay Saddened and stunned the coming day. Sleep, the wide blessing, seemed to me Distemper's worst calamity. The third night, when my own loud scream Had wakened me from the fiendish dream, O'ercome with suffering strange and wild, I wept as I had been a child. And having thus by tears subdued My anguish to a milder mood, Such punishments, I said, Were due to nature's deepliest Stained with sin. For I, entempesting anew The unfathomable hell within, The horror of their deeds to view, To know and loathe, yet wish and do. Such griefs with such men well agree, But wherefore, wherefore fall on me? To be beloved is all I need, And whom I love, I love indeed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.